Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Previously, we got our first set of Pokeballs and the challenge began properly. So we made our way to Violet City, and along the way, we got a full team of six. Love these guys already. Um, I actually want to point out, Eos. Turns out, in Greek mythology, Eos was the goddess who is the mother to the Animoi, the four winds. So that's Zephyr and Eurus, plus Boreas and Notus. So, with me being Zephyr and my rival being Eurus, I think that's pretty nice. <laughs> I did not intend that. I did, actually didn't know who Eos was, I just looked it up between videos. Um, speaking of between videos, I need to come clean about something. Let's look at when I began my adventure. Adventure started May 29th, 2022. I am recording this video, part 3, in July 21st. It has been a few weeks, so what's the deal? Well. I was dying to get started on this playthrough. I just could not wait. And, um... I thought, you know what? I'll just record some videos and hold on to them. I just need to scratch my itch. And I did! But now I finished my playthrough of Minecraft and we can begin proper, so... I definitely want to speak to everyone in this town because... Sometimes... Uh, NPCs, especially early on, will give you nice gift items just for speaking with them. It was about three years ago, this group of thugs called Team Rocket was involved in wrongdoing. They were abusing Pokemon. But, bad things never last. A boy did a wonderful job and Team Rocket was disbanded. <laughs> yeah, about that. I don't think that's true. Hello, I should be a familiar face to every Pokemon fan. From the TV show, the Show Me Show. I am Primo, the big brother. Today, would you, one of my fans, tell me what you think of me? Okay. Um. Aye! Danger! Stranger danger! I'm ten. Oh my! Is that how you feel about me? <laughs> yeah? never thought of it that way before. By the way, how do you like the way I am so exciting and fun? I need an adult. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? Sir, I am bored and disappointed. Truly. That gives me all new energy so I can work even harder. Great feedback. It'll help me a lot. Thank you for your continued support. Okay. A guy named Bill made the Pokemon PC storage system. You can access the Pokemon storage system using the PC at the reception there. Why don't you try it once? Did that update it to Bill's PC? Uh, no, it's still someone's PC. Guess we'll have to deal with that. I think I saw someone upstairs. Who are you? Hmm. Can you tell me what kind of trainer you like best? Oh, this is, um... This is what you appear as online, I don't, I don't care about this. Okay, let's hit the town. Who are you, with the french fry hair? Shard de Berry, Shard de Berry. Ya yeah, ya, yeah, I trade berry for shard. If you bring me some shards, I will give you three berries, ya. Yeah? Okay. Um... I don't know what a shard is, but I'll keep my eye out. There have been reports of ghost-type Pokémon appearing in Sprout Tower. Oh, Sprout Tower. Wow, I remember that now. Yeah, it's like this big, multi-layered dungeon thing, and there's like this shaking, moving pillar in the center. Oh my god, I remember an NPC saying that, like, there's a giant bell sprout in the center of the tower, and that's why it wiggles. I remember being just enchanted by that idea as a kid. But oh, if there are ghost types there, we might want to enter there at night. Maybe we could catch like a ghastly, or maybe mischievous, but a ghost type, especially this early, would be great. They say normal type Pokemon moves have no effect on them. Hm. Oh, um... 
Speaking of remembering things, I just remembered I forgot to say something. Uh, in the in the few weeks between part two and three for me, I actually um, got an entirely new computer, and in the move uh, of my data files on all the USB and stuff, I accidentally realized that um, some key stuff about the um, the display all around this video got deleted, so I had to remake a few aspects of my overlay from scratch. I tried to keep it as close to the original as possible, so if you notice anything different, that's why. Who are you? I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Bellsprout? Nope. Want to trade it for my Onyx? That's an awful deal. You don't want to trade? Aww. Pokemon you get in a trade grows quickly, but if you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. That's true. But it's only Pokemon that get traded to me. Everything I catch will always obey me. What's up here? Um, the city of nostalgic sense. I can't smell, so fooey. What is this building? Oh, uh, this must be the trainer school. Can I get a quick claw? Uh, let me just take a little poke through here. I forget which generation it was where the trainer school gave you a quick claw, but I remember that. I'll have to come back when we have Rock Smash. Oh man. HM moves. I hate HM moves. Hello? Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer? If you beat the gym leader here, you'll be ready for prime time. <laughs> I assume the tower is up here? Yes, okay. Sprout... <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, that was weird. Sprout Tower, experience the way of Pokemon to cast aside your doubts. Um, definitely want to enter there at night. If we can cast a ghost Pokemon, that'd be the best. Do you know that Pokegear allows you to put marks and memos on its map? Yes! I'd love to have one of those Pokegears, but my mom won't let me. <laughs> so let's have a look over here first. Falconer from the Violet City Gym Pokemon, or Violet City Pokemon Gym, is a fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done a great job with it. Okay. Bonjour, you are trainer? Battle gym leader. When you did? Not yet. Is that so? Then study shall you. Follow- I need an adult. No, <laughs> leave me alone. Here, teacher I am. Good it is you study here. Oh, actually, maybe speaking to him could get me a reward. Hey. Earl I am. Wonderful are Pokemon, yes. Teach you I will to be a better trainer. What do you want to know? Want to be a winner is you? Oh my god, a winner is you. I feel like I've been transported back to the year early 2000s. Good, teach you I will. In battle, Pokemon, uh, yeah, whatever. I, I know more than you. Absolutely nothing from that guy. What a waste of time. Uh, what's down here? An apricorn? I think that's yellow, or rather... You'll... Park... Oh, apricorn, yeah. you really Apricorn. That's how it's pronounced. Ooh. Route 32. Is that new? Hold on. Where's my map? Hold up. <gasps> that is new. Look at that. Uh... Yeah, I didn't make a catch here. I could walk into the grass right now and do it. Ooh. Okay, who's going out front? Um, Armin is weak. Uh, Titan, you can take a lot of hits, especially if this is like gonna just hit you with tackle, so let's send you out, buddy. What is our catch for Route 32? Mareep! 
Oh, that's good! An electric type, wonderful. Um, a lot of people really like Ampharos. I don't, really. I, I, I've never been too fond of it. It's too slow for my, for my liking, and I don't really like the design. But, yeah, I'll take you, buddy. Get in my balls. <laughs> Soften it up a bit first. Ooh. Wow, that's... that's really defensive. Okay. I really don't think it has anything to worry about, like, uh... Roar... Or... Whirlwind or Tail Swipe? I think this is pretty much good as locked in. You know, come to think of it, this might be really good to use against Falconer. If we, uh, if we raise it up a bit, yeah. Okay, let's try a Pokeball. Ah, got it! Mareep was caught. Fantastic. Mareep's data was added to the Pokedex. If static electricity builds in its body, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. The wool Pokemon. Give a nickname? Heck yeah, I know exactly what to give you. So, we're in Gen 4. We don't exactly have a Blitzel yet, but... <laughs> There's a really obvious pick here for an Electric-type Pokemon. Um... Ixion. Love that thing. I have Ixion as a mount in Final Fantasy XIV. It looks so cool. I use it on my summoner job. Ixion was transferred to the crew in someone's PC. <laughs> oh, great! Um, actually going through and exploring this route can wait, though. Uh, it might be good to grind up a bit in, though. Um... So the question is, do I want to replace anyone on my squad with Ixion? Um... So, I think Ifrit and Titan are shoe-ins. They gotta stay. And I really want Aramin to stay so I can raise up uh, friendship. So I can get Crobat as soon as possible once it evolves into Gobat. Which means that leaves Wedge, Highwind, and Eos. Um... Butterfree could be a neat powerhouse um, early on at level 10. So maybe I should get rid of Wedge. Hmm. It is minus speed. Uh... Okay, yeah, let's... Let's give it a shot. Let's swap out for Ixion. Let's have a look at you! Alright. It's Rash, proud of its power. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Uh, plus special attack, minus special defense. And has static of moves that make physical contact with it and might paralyze the enemy. Oh, yo. That is good. This is a good Pokemon. Oh, baby. All right, then. Huh. Cool. So, what else is in the town? Over to the left. You cannot have your Pokémon out walking with you in some places. Places like buildings, caves, and where there are huge crowds. But all you have to do is to put it in your Pokéball. Sure. She uses the names of all the food she really enjoys eating. For the nickname she gives to her Pokemon, I mean. Okay. 
I call my Pidgey Strawberry. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, is this another way out? Hello. What do we have here? Lately, I don't see people coming from Goldenrod City. Plants are also living things. They would want to move around from time to time. Okay. Wait, what, what route did that say we were on? What? Hold on, I need to take another look. 36! Whoa, we could get another catch. An odd tree is blocking the way to Ecrutik City. It's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. Arthur. Who are you? I'm Arthur of Thursday. Here, take this. Oh my god, I am playing on a Thursday, aren't I? July 21st? Um... If you use Rock-type moves, you should give that to your Pokémon. It raises the strength of Rock-type moves. <laughs> okay. I did not plan for that, I swear to god. Haven't you had trouble with a boulder blocking your way? Of course you have. For people like you, there's an HM that will come to your rescue. Oh, we got Rock Smash! Neat! It contains Make Him Faint Rock Smash. You can even use it to smash boulders once you've earned the Violet City Gym Badge. But beware, hidden moves like this are hard for your Pokémon to forget once they've learned them. You should think carefully which Pokémon should learn it. That is very true. Okay, we absolutely need to use Rock Smash on a Pokémon to progress in the game. Not anytime soon, but we should. In the meantime, it's a 40 power, 100% accuracy fighting type move, which makes it very good against the plentiful normal types uh, he, uh, normal types around here, so... Of my current squad, who can actually learn it? Oh. Just Titan. Okay. Hmm. That's definitely worth thinking about. Actually, it might be better in every way than tackle. Um, do I want to do that right now, actually? I can definitely see Titan staying on my team for a long time, unless he gets KO'd. Um, what moves does he have? Uh, hello? Ah, tackle, defense, curl, and mud sport. Okay, yeah, mud sport is worthless to me, and it is indeed better in every way than Tackle, so... Hmm... Plus, Geodudes and their evolutions aren't really known for having a lot of move variety in the first place, so... Yeah, yeah, no, you, you know what? I think that's it. We're gonna... we're gonna... we're gonna teach Titan Rock Smash. Titan learned Rock Smash. Easy as that. And I also like to rearrange the moves a bit. Just so I don't get messed up. There we are. But of course, before we can actually use it in the field, then we need to defeat the gym leader. Ah, uh, right. That's a problem, one we're not going to be able to solve. Um, what is down below? Ruins of Alf! Oh, there's a lot of unknown there! Huh. Um, it can wait though. I think it might be time to actually go into Sprout Tower. Maybe. So, um... Let's see here. If I'm gonna fight a ghost type, what can actually, you know, fight it? Something that has something beyond a normal and fighting type move. Well, Armin has a leech life, which is a bug. Um. Oh, good lord. Armin's leech life is literally the only thing I have that can damage a ghost type. 
Uh, I mean, I could lob Pokeballs right away and just hope to catch it, but that might be a really bad idea, an expensive idea. I could run out, and if I do, that would be it. I would give up my chance at catching something for Sprout Tower. Which means it is grinding time. We need to power our Pokémon up. Everyone is a bit low level, I think, so... This is going to take a while, and I will spare you the awful, boring details, but if anything interesting happens, you will see it. So, uh, leave it to me, I suppose. Ah, uh, bell sprouts out here! Here's where you can find them! Huh. So... Bug is actually super effective against grass, but wait, is Bug... Does Poison resist Bug? I forget. Um, point being, between Armin being flying type and resisting grass and maybe having an advantage, maybe Armin can solo this. Ooh, Vine Whip. Oh, one health point. Okay, we're gonna heal that back immediately. You go, Armin. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna take a long time. Whoa! 72? Oh. Level 5. That's pretty good. Supersonic. Oh, that could be a huge help. Yeah, if I ever find another bell sprout like that. Ooh. Oh, I have a phone call from Wade. Who is that? Zephyr, howdy. It's Wade, how are you? I found all kinds of berries. If you want, I'll share some with you. I'll be waiting on Route 31. Huh. Might actually go find him. I think he's a bug catcher. Yeah, let's do it. Good to see you. See? This is what I found. It's for you! Lumberry. Like plum. What do that do? I do not know off the top of my head. Um... Recovers from any status problem. Oh, that's... That's really good. You and me, Wade, we're best friends now. Ho oh, ho! Alright then. Back to leveling. Aha! Armin is level 6. Ooh, that's quite a bit better. Love that speed. No new moves. High Wind leveled up. Level 7. Uh, nice enough health. Ah, no flying type move. Shame. Armin's level 7. Nice health. Helps with the fragility of a Zubat. Oh, Ixion's nearly there too. Ixion's level 7 now. Mm, pretty good. Not the best. Man, level ups in the early game aren't that exciting, are they? <laughs> Titan's level 7. Nothing for special attack or special defense, but nice gains for HP and defense. Eos is level 5. Nothing for attack. Great. Well, now that it matters, Butterfree's more of a special attacker, isn't it? Oh well. Hey, I got a call from Joey! What's up, Joey? It's Joey, how are you? Hey, do you remember my super cool Rattata? As if I could ever forget. My Rattata is different from regular Rattata. It's like my Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattata. Do you know what I'm saying? God bless, youngster Joey. God bless. Eos is level 6. Right on. 
one more for something good. Eos is level 7. Ooh, nice gains. And Ifrit, level 10. Oh, baby. Also nice gains. Ifrit learned Ember. Oh, thank goodness, at last. And also, Eos is evolving. <laughs> Just like that, our little Caterpie grew up. It's now a Metapod. Wonderful. So, with evolution comes new moves, sometimes, and great stat increases. Oh, I got another call from Wade, my best friend? We knocked out a wild Caterpie with one hit a while back. Uh, oh. Uh, you call me to waste my time? We are no longer best friends. How is Metapod running at- you know what, never mind. But how you doing? Eos looks very happy. I mean, you lost your legs. You lost your mouth. You lost your ears. I, I, I'm... You sure you're okay, buddy? Looking around Russell's- Oh no, it's having an existential crisis. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> right then. One little magic trick later, and it's nighttime. So, let's hop right into the Sprout Tower and maybe catch ourselves a ghost Pokemon, if we're lucky. Could be anything, I think. It's probably Bell Sprouts in the Sprout Tower. Ooh, that's pretty. Ah. A Bell Sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the middle pillar here. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Man, there's so much nostalgia in that. I really took it as fact, like, there's actually a 100 foot, uh, 100 foot bell sprout in there. It's gonna break free one day. The Pokemon world sure is weird, but... I think it's just some wobbling support pillar. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Huh. Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Only those who reach the top will receive a wonderful move. If it's cut, I'm gonna flip my desk. I hate cut. Um... So... I think that's... A, I think that's a trainer. That dude's gonna fight me. Uh, let's get our catch first. Can I get an encounter here? There are encounters here, right? Okay. <laughs> For a second there, I was like... did. Was I just... Oh my god, it's ghastly. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, I am happy to see you. <laughs> if I play my cards right, I might one day have a Gengar. Oh, that'd be amazing. Okay. Well, let's leech life a bit and soften it up. I have no risk of killing it because leech life is very weak. Yeah, look at that. And in turn, it's going to use Lick. Okay, so we're pretty much just scratching each other to death right now, but Lick can paralyze me, so... Oh, Hypnos... Oh, come on. Oh, that makes this annoying. You know what? I could just save myself a lot of time here. Um... Yeah, I guess he's cool enough to warrant it. Premier Ball, go! I believe. No! <laughs> I'm so close! Oh, fine. Weakening it, it is. Um, I can't use Supersonic. That's a normal type move. It'll just pass right through. 
Okay, let's get it down to like yellow life before we try again. Okay, it's yellow. Let's give a regular Pokeball a shot. Cross my fingers. One, two. Mmm. Putting up a hard fight, aren't you, buddy? Hmm. Okay, we'll give it one more Pokeball. If this fails, I might have to think about reducing its health even more. I am running out of Leech Life PP, though. Yes! Ghastly was caught! Ho oh. ho! Ghastly's data was added to the Pokedex. The Gas Pokemon. Four feet big. Nightmarish. With its gas-like body, it can sneak into any place it desires. However, it can be blown away by wind. Give a nickname? Yes. Now, um... If I wanted to be really mean, I could, like... Name it after a dead... Party member in the Final Fantasy series? Like, oh my god, it's even female. <laughs> you know exactly who I'm talking about, then. I could name it that, but... Um, no, I think let's go with Lich of the Four Fiends. We'll have a look at your stats later, buddy. Um, so I do have escape ropes, right? Let's see. Huh? Oh, I don't have escape ropes. Then I need to be careful about how far I go into this place. Um... Okay... Well, let's start with Highwind. We'll take- we'll have him take the lead. Um... If we do run into more Ghastly, their Lick can't affect it, so... Yeah, look at that, we can just run with no fear. Actually, the worst I could happen is that run fails, and then it gets hypnosis, and then I'm stuck with a sleeping high wind. Can't escape. Spite? Oh! The ghastly I just caught didn't use spite at all. Maybe that you learns that at level 5. How fast are ghastly? Really? Oh no. Oh, that's... Oh. What did I just say? Okay, Hyman's asleep. Um, Ixion, you're up. Let's you let's you and me fight this trainer. It's probably using a Bell Sprout. I swear to God. Don't, don't put, don't put me to sleep, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna run. Okay. Oh. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Let's go. Sage Nico. Three Pokemon versus Bellsprout. Just level three. This should not be a problem. Now, trainer fights are nice because their Pokemon reward a lot more experience than... Wow. Ixion's showing us what, what he's made of, um... Yeah, trainer Pokémon reward a lot more experience than wild Pokémon, so even though it's level 3, there should be some good rewards. Yeah, wow! Okay then. Now we are playing on set mode, meaning I don't have an opportunity to swap out between uh, KOs, but in this instance, I have absolutely nothing to fear. Ixion can sweep this. Static putting in work? I don't actually know what the percentage chance of static is, but it feels pretty high. I want to say maybe 30%? 40? Just like that, Ixion's level 8. Ooh, nice special attack. Once this thing gets, um, electric shock, or... What? what what's the... Static shock, that's it. Uh, once it gets that, this'll... 
also do some real numbers. Oh wow! Bellsprout. How surprising. Huh. Well. Okay. Yeah, if Ixion can get an Electric Kite move soon, in time for the gym, that would just be splendid. Okay, you're cutting a little close here, but... We're good. Ixion made it through. Oh, nearly to level 9. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. The flexible pillar protects the, the tower. Even from earthquakes. Uh. Okay, so we got one sleeping Pokemon. Ixion's asleep. Um. It would probably be the smartest move for me to just go retreat. Heal at the Pokemon Center. Uh, get an escape rope while I'm out in town. And while I'm there, we can actually look at um, Lich's stats. Uh, yeah, Lich. Let's have a look at the summary. Hasty. Capable of taking hits. No, you are not. You are made of glass. Um, plus speed, minus defense. Wow, that's pretty good. Neat. So, um, the nice thing about it is that it has levitate, which makes it full immunity to ground type moves. To send this thing out against Earthquake and feel no fear. Um, now, the thing about Ghastly is, much like Zubat or even Magikarp, you kind of have to baby it along. It has very poor move learns as it levels up, and it's kind of useless until it evolves into um, Haunter at level 22, and even then, Haunter is not too special. And because of the rules I am playing by, I would have to wait until level 35 to evolve it into Gengar. Now, Gengar is pretty much everyone's favorite Pokemon for a reason. Gengar is good. Oh man, the special attack and speed on that thing is unreal. Loaded up with Shadow Ball or um, Lightning Bolt, Sludge Bomb, ooh! You got on your hands a sweeper. Uh, I can't imagine myself using Lich anytime soon, but I am very glad to have her. Neat. Back to the tower. I actually set it to daytime again, so... Uh, that might cut down on the ghastly appearances. They are super annoying, because they're so fast you can't really run away from them. Even with my Zubat out of front. So, oh, back down to the first floor. Can get this item. Uh, the shop didn't carry any escape ropes, and... At that, I'm dirt poor. Look at my money, t my money. Um... I have 350 polka dollars to my name. I kind of went crazy buying stuff. <laughs> so I'll have to make do with what I have. Hopefully we can get some more money from trainers, like this guy. Who do I want to use against him? It's probably more bell sprouts. Uh, uh, I feel like Ixion's in a good place. Uh, it would be really nice to get Eos up to a Butterfree at level 10. Yeah, we'll lead with Eos. If need be, we can swap out. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokémon. You know, I love how unapologetically Japanese the Kanto and Johto region are. But Johto specifically, man. Like, I know it's kind of like a thing at this point that the Pokemon franchise has been like a kind of a world-renowned traveling thing. Like, you have regions based on Hawaii and uh, France and in the newest game that's coming out soon, Spain. But something about the Japan take in these early games feels a lot different because it's like... 
it doesn't feel like um, it's just visiting Japan as a gimmick. It's like, no, the message in these early games is like, no, this is just the world. It's Japan land. This is home. This is how it is here. If that makes sense. Oh, nice experience. Should hit level 8 right here. What I tell ya? Level 8. Neat. Defeated Sage Chow. Th thank you. Why, why is he thanking me? I knocked his Pokemon unconscious and he, I took his money. All living beings coexist through cooperation. We must always be thankful for this. Okay. You do you, fella. Uh, let's set High Wind out front. We're in High Wind now. Ah, an item. An X accuracy. You know, I'm one of those people who never, ever, ever uses the X items, like, at all. Just find it kind of feel like a waste. Who do we have here? I sway like leaves in the wind. I get shredded like leaves in the composter. Sage Edmund. Surprise, it's Bellsprout. Wow. There's no possible way I could have seen this coming. High Winds level 8. Good stuff. Already almost level 9. Oh, I'm weak! Yes, yes you are. We have a realist over here. I tried to copy Bellsprout's gentle movements for battle. But I didn't train well enough. <laughs> I don't think any amount of training will help you there. Boy, I'm being mean-spirited today, aren't I? Ah, uh, Radita. Well, you're not the highest percentage of Radita, so I don't really care. Give me some experience. Oh, come on! And Highwind level up to nine. Gust? Gust? Hello? Yes! Oh! <laughs> Well, if I have any trouble against Bellsprout, I have High Wind and Ifrit to back me up. Very nice. Uh, Titan's kind of sitting this tower out, I think. I know he's a, like a physical wall, but Grass is times four weakness for him, so... No. Never. He's never coming out. Back to Ixion for now. Need to learn that. Oh, hello. Okay. Huh. A potion. Okay. Uh, Ixion, you want to have a go? I train to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Just use Flash. Sage Jin. Bellsprout. One Bellsprout, level 6. Oh, this should give me a lot of experience. Tackle. Probably static will kick in. Wow. I'm gonna pay for that later. <laughs> it actually kind of hurts. Ooh. I think I might be in danger of dying to a critical hit. I need to actually swap out. Wow. Okay, um... Maybe I should actually swap to Ifrit. No risks. No risks. <laughs> Two health points. Now. Burn! Beautiful. Ixion gained 54 experience and hit level 9. No electric move, really? 
I'll have to put our hopes into, uh... Th this little squirt made me hurt? I need an adult. As Pokemon grow stronger, so does the trainer. No, wait, as the trainer grows stronger, so do the Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to put our hopes on level 10 for an electric type move. I have six potions, that's pretty good. Heal you up, um. As well as High Wind, I think. Eh. No, we should stick with Ixion for now. If Ixion runs into trouble against this trainer, we have Ifrit. The Elder's TM lights even pitch black darkness. Oh, it's not cut. It's Flash. Oh. Oh, I hate Flash. Oh, gross. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to teach that to Ixion, actually. Challenged by Sage Neil. Another level 6 Bellsprout. Uh, hopefully we fare better against this one. Probably not. Yeah, we're probably have, gonna have to swap after another hit. Deja vu. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't think we're speed tied, so... I should be able to get this on my own. Hopefully. Okay, in order for me to die, this would have to speed tie and also crit. I don't believe it. Okay. 108! Ooh, triple digits! I think that was the first time. Oh, oh beautiful. Level 10, well deserved. Look at that special attack! Oh, monstrous! For this level, at least. Thundershock! We did it! It is my head that is bright! <laughs> oh, Ixion, you're gonna be a jewel against the gym, aren't you? Yes, you are! <laughs> yes, you are! Love you! <laughs> um... Alright. I think we'll just have Ifrit handle the next trainer. Because I feel like after him will be a boss fight. Will there be light on your journey? Yes, yes. Oh, that's... By boss fight I meant like the leader, but... That's my rival. There was only one person with hair red like that. That's Eurus. Oh, we might be fighting our rival this video. Okay. Let me see how much you trust your Pokémon. You are challenged by Sage Troy! Bellsprout. <laughs> okay. Let's burn it up. Should change the order of the move. Ooh, Ifrit coming out strong with the crits! Well done, buddy. <laughs> level 11. Never a bad idea to be that high a level. A Hoot Hoot! Ah! Have we seen one yet? I don't, I don't think we have. Okay. Um, I, I could bring out Titan for this if I wanted, but... Actually... Mm, the scene might have Peck. Yeah, only Ifrit and Titan are up for this fight. Uh, I actually may as well get Titan out here just for the experience. This is this would be a very good experience for him. It should resist everything it can throw at him. Oh, it has hypnosis because of course it does. Actually, no, I should have used ah. My brain said use tackle because it's flying. It resists fighting, but no, it's also normal. This will do more damage. Oh, come on. I'll just skip ahead here. Ooh, critical hit right out of sleep. That's what I call revenge. Oh, come on. Ugh. Finally. Ugh. 
Ifrit gained 43 experience. And Titan. Oh, really? Yes, your trust is real. That is so close. <laughs> we can get that on our way out. It is not far to the Elder. Yes, yes it is. I need to backtrack, hit up the Pokemon Center. Oh, I need to heal everyone up. If I'm gonna fight Eurus, it was gonna be difficult. Well, way more difficult than any of these Bellsprout lovers. Titan's level 8. Neat. Nice attack. Rock Polish. Ah. If I remember right, this move... Um... Uh, it, uh... It greatly increases speed. Yeah, sharply raises it. That increases speed by two levels. It can max out to six levels up in battle. That might actually be really good. Oh, yeah, Mudsport. Get rid of Mudsport. No, don't even need to think about it. Neat. I just realized we haven't actually found any wild bell sprout here. That's kind of weird. It's like it's been all Rattata and Ghastly. Huh. Well, made it back. So, what's the plan for Eurus? There's only one Pokémon we can guarantee is on his team, and that's the Totodile. Um, but I don't think rivals ever, ever, ever start the fight with their starter. So, I think the most logical thing is to use Ifrit first up and soften up as many Pokémon as we can. He probably has like two or three at most. Three at most. Probably just two. Um, so when it comes time for the Totodile, that'll be Ixion's time to shine. And it's back up, we'll probably have to deal with just Highwind, Eos, and maybe Armin. I don't like much like their odds. I don't suppose Totodile knows Bite by this level, do you? That could be very bad. Like 60 power, flinch, ugh. I think we're as ready as we can ever be, unless I decide to just go out and grind like crazy, but... I think I'm feeling pretty good. Let's give it a shot. Elder. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokémon. The way you treat your Pokémon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokémon are not tools of war. <laughs> Listen to that theme music. <laughs> he calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokémon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokémon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Use an escape rope. Oh. No rival fight. Then I just we're gonna fight the Bell Sprout Elder then. Um Oh need an escape rope. I'll keep that. That's valuable. Uh Okay, change of plans. Efreed's back to being a trump card. Let's start out with Titan. Not Titan. High Wind. Hopefully. Can learn. Uh, hit level 10, maybe learn Gust. Wait. Didn't it already learn Gust? Yeah, it did. Oh, great. I forgot about that. Uh. So, Gust is special attack, which means it's technically not as good as uh, the attack stat, but. Same type attack bonus, plus super effective. Uh. Yeah, no, Highwind's going to tear a face. Let's do it. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokémon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. 
Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Elder Lee. Uh, Elder Lee? Somehow that's an even worse pun than Falconer. Oh my god. Oh. Just completely thrown off balance. Oh my god. Elderly. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Should two shot it. Or what? Critical hit. Oh man, my Pokemon are just out to impress today. Love you guys. Holy crap. Uh, High Wind's level 10. Uh, that's fantastic. A Hoot Hoot. Oh. This actually does present a problem, which means... It's probably time to head back to Titan. Yeah, same reasons as before. It can't really scratch him. Not with flying, not with normal. The worst it can do is lock me into hypnosis. And it missed! Good, good. Bad, bad... Oh. Uh, wake up. Oh, it's... Oh, it's using... Oh, no, this is gonna last like a year. Oh, please... Oh, no, gee... Oh, come on, no. Oh. It does no peck. Rock smash! Oh my god! Crit after crit? Oh. Defense lowered. That should be good. Might get it this time. Maybe. It missed? Huh? Oh, held on by a thread. One more. Oh! Hey! You can't do that! Only I can do that! Unfortunately, grass resists, um... Grass resists fighting, so... Actually, I think poison resists too. So, um... Definitely want Titan out of there. That is very bad news. Uh... Hmm... Um... Yeah, High Wind, you're up. <gasps> oh. Okay. I saw growth, and I panicked. But there are two reasons that I immediately stopped panicking. One, this is a generation that's old enough where growth only raises special attack by one stage, not two. In later generations, it raises special attack by two stages. And the other reason, it I think it only knows Vine Whip, and Vine Whip is physical. So that was a complete waste of a turn. Good. I mean, I hope it is. Could bust out an Absorb on me. That'd be bad. Yeah, yeah no Vine Whip. That growth was absolutely pointless. We are good. Let's finish this fight. It's super effective, and it was a crit. Oh, wait. Yeah, the Hoot Hoot. I forgot about you. Um, yeah, no, Gust. Mercy kill. <laughs> I think Titan still fought this, so will he still get experience? Oh! Huh. Titan didn't get experience. That's interesting. Okay. Player defeated Elderly. Ah, excellent. Oh, 1200. That's good. Hmm. The way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Falconer. And you should be able to make good use of this. It is a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. Uh-oh. I have a problem. Uh-oh. 
when a Pokemon learns Flash, you can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. So... Oh no, this is an awkward middle ground here. We're in a generation with dark caves. Case in point, the dark cave where we caught Araman. Um... So we need Flash to light them up, however... Flash is a TM, meaning it will be consumed once I use it for the first time. Meaning, if I put it on a Pokemon, and then that Pokemon faints, I can't ever use it again. Um, and I'll have to bumble my way through all the darkly lit caves in the future. Oh, jeez. Um, well, in the meantime, who can I actually use it on? Um, it says I thought Ixion. Ooh, Ixion, buddy. Okay, well, we'll have to wait until it's an absolute necessity. I won't put it on sooner. We'll see if Ixion can make it through the gym leader. Oh. Well, I'm gonna head out back to the Pokemon Center. In the meantime, I might want to try and get my Pokemon some levels. I want everyone to at least be a level 10 before we enter that gym. And that would mean evolving Eos once more. Well, alright then. I think that will do it for today. I am very pleased with our progress. We cleared Sprout Tower and we caught Ixion the Mareep and Lich the Ghastly along the way. <gasps> Joey, we've been blessed once again. Do you remember my super cool Rattata? Oh yes. My Rattata is different from regular Rattata. It's like my Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattata. Do you know what I'm saying? I am too dumb to interpret the word of the prophet. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Joey. How you doing, Zubat? Armin seems it wants to play. Well, too bad, I'm gonna stop playing. <laughs> so, um, I think I'll do a little grinding between this video and the next. Uh, don't you worry. Uh, just like with my Minecraft playthrough, I'll do like in between reels to show anything interesting that happens, but there probably won't be anything interesting. Um,. And it won't be post-commentary, though. I'll just keep my microphone on and open whenever I grind off-camera. Off uh, but yeah, we'll level everyone up, and we'll challenge the gym leader. And once we triumph, or lose spectacularly, I, uh, we'll poke around the ruins of Alf. Um, and then afterwards, I suppose from there, there will be time left, we'll probably... Yeah, we'll probably head south along Route 32 and we'll enter Union Cave. Ah, and that comes out to Route 33, which enters Azalea Town and the Slowpoke Well. Oh, man. Oh, I remember that stuff. Slowpokes, oh, man. Oh, it would be incredible if we could get a Slowpoke. I want one. Well, that's a pipe dream for now. Yep, so... I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been more Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll catch you next time when we challenge Falconer. Until then, please take care.